Kazakhstan will continue to expand trade and economic cooperation with Slovakia. This was announced at the Joint Business Forum with participation of government leaders of the two countries in Astana. Nearly 120 entrepreneurs organized B2B meetings and discussed ways of cooperation in the agro-industrial and industrial sector, as well as transport and logistics industry, including the Belt and Road Initiative. Today, a political dialogue has been established between Slovakia and Kazakhstan, and favorable conditions have been created for the development of cultural, humanitarian, trade and economic dialogues. Kazakhstan Slovakia Kazakhstan mainly exports raw materials and oil and gas industry products to Slovakia. In addition, it is a leading country in car production. They have 134 cars per inhabitant. Cars are delivered to Kazakhstan. They are Slovak companies working in the agricultural and industrial sector. Many international experts believe that Astana Airport will become the largest hub in Central Asia. The airport capacity has increased since a new terminal started operating. Its construction began in 2015 for international exhibition. The project was funded at the expense of state funds. The total area of the new terminal is 47,000 square meters, including the international passenger and VIP terminals, as well as six new aircraft parking bays, four bus exits, 50 passport control booths and 27 check-in counters. We serve nearly 17 domestic flights and 27 international destinations. There are 2,500 passengers per day. Since the beginning of 2018, there have been 4.5 million passengers. We want to have 8.2 million passengers per year. Passengers. Пропускная способность максимальная, которую мы как бы хотим достичь это 8,2 миллиона пассажиров в год. The facility is equipped with the latest technology, which can significantly improve services and increase aviation security. More than 600 cameras are installed in the terminal and the station square. The building has an X-ray scanner and radiation safety control. A new system of the European Union standards has been introduced for baggage handling. There is a modern baggage handling system that eliminates the human factor. The system does baggage tracking, provides safety and processes speed. Today, we can handle 1,200 suitcases per hour. In comparison, changes have made us very happy. Everything is automated. Self-checkout offices have been introduced. Now there are no queues. Previously, I had to wait a long time. This is a very convenient terminal and polite staff. The new terminal is very comfortable, modern and spacious. It can serve many passengers. We are very pleased to have such an airport. Today, some 500 people work at the airport. There is new air traffic control tower. Experts say that the terminal meets all international standards and can serve all types of aircraft. Development of regional gasification is one of the five social initiatives of President of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. In this regard, construction of the Saryarka gas pipeline is planned. It will pass from Kizilorda through Jeskazgan, Kargandi and Temirtau to Astana with a possibility of further gasification of Kokshetau and Petropalv. As a result, nearly 3 million residents in the northern and central regions will be provided with gas. The construction of the Saryarka gas pipeline is scheduled to begin before the end of the year. It will be built near the compressor stations of the Beinu Bozoi Shimkent gas pipeline in the Kizilorda region. In the first stage, over 1,000 kilometers of the gas mainline are planned to pass through three regions to Asana. Design and estimate documentation for the Saryarka gas pipeline has successfully passed the state examination. We will announce the tender for construction and installation works.
The compressor station, which was commissioned in the Sirdarya region, increased the throughput capacity of the Beinu Bozoi Shimkian gas pipeline to 10 billion cubic meters. It is equipped with the latest technology. Compressor stations will be built in Jest Kazgan and Timirtau for gas pumping. We receive natural gas through the main gas pipeline and our main goal is to compress this gas, which we receive from other compressor stations and send it to the destination point. A project in Astana is being developed. A new thermal power plant is being built in the capital. After all the work, there is a possibility of connecting the gas. Of course, first of all, the ecological situation in Astana will improve. The construction of the Sariarka gas pipeline will be completed at the end of next year. New horizons are opening up between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Leaders of both countries are interested in development of bilateral cooperation. Positive growth is recorded in the value of mutual trade. Experts say that by year end, the trade volume between the two countries will reach 3 billion US dollars, and by 2020, it is estimated at 5 billion US dollars minimum. In addition, the parties also intend to implement joint investment projects. The nature and dynamics of the Kazakh-Uzbek relations can be seen from the fact that this year, the trade turnover between the countries has doubled. This was announced by leader of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, at a meeting of the Astana Club. He highlighted that he expected for significant development and improvement of bilateral relations. In Uzbekistan, there have been major socio-economic changes over the past two years. Over 200 enterprises with participation of Kazakh capital in a number of areas are registered in Uzbekistan. The main areas include trade, industry, agriculture, construction and logistics. In Kazakhstan, there are more than 350 joint ventures. In addition, the topic of mutual recognition of visas between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan will be concluded. One of the promising projects is the trip along the ancient Silk Road. For this purpose, joint tourist routes will be developed. Experts believe that with the successful outcome of negotiations, countries such as Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan will join the initiative. Touring days will cost from 50 US dollars to 80 US dollars on average. Our goal is to bring it to this level. Of course, tourists are different depending on their likes and budget. A person can spend up to 500 US dollars. In general, the goal is anywhere around 80 US dollars a day. Цель такая, где-то до 80 долларов в день, чтобы это было обеспечено. Air traffic between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan has also been revived. Rail traffic increased by almost 35 percent. Special buses from Tashkent to Shimken, Almaty and Kizilorda have also started. 2018 was declared as the year of Uzbekistan in Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan hosted over 200 different events aimed at strengthening good neighborly ties. Meanwhile, next year in Uzbekistan will be the year of Kazakhstan. Sultan Bey Baris, the girl boy, the daughter of the steppe, the angel in Tibiteka, Giz Jibek and Aldar Kose, the different genres of feature films from Central Asia and the Turkic world, is available to Yelarna viewers, which is the first film channel of Kazakhstan. Prior to the beginning of the 2018 new season, the Yelarna channel showed only Kazakh cinema on air. But starting this fall, we've decided to display feature films from the golden fund of the Central Asian and Turkic countries. Our project is unique because we translate films into Kazakh and present it to Kazakh-speaking audience. Kazakhstan's initiative was first supported by representatives of the Embassy of Tajikistan. Yelarna Channel received 17 feature films from the Gold Fund of Tajikistan. Many films were shot in Tajikistan. 
A lot of films were shot in Tajikistan and many people have watched these films. I think that this will be another step to strengthen cooperation between our people. We as the embassy are ready to assist in terms of organizing the same events in Tajikistan, particularly Cinema Days of Kazakhstan in Tajikistan. A cinema week of Azerbaijan, Latvia and Kyrgyzstan is expected. I'm very glad that the Kazakh side came up with this initiative. In Kyrgyzstan, we are very interested and always watch with great pleasure both films of the Golden Fund of Kazakhstan as well as present-day modern films. Every film is a success when it is effective and available to viewer and the message is heard. I think that these films have them. Our heroic actions of our Bathurst are at the heart of film adaptations. They are very interesting films from 1980s that was showed in the box office in the USSR and were presented on screen in cinemas. Each of the selected films is unique in its own way. Although the official history of cinema in Central Asia dates back to 1930s, there are films of 1960s to 80s which can be considered the starting point of a truly national cinema in the regional countries. Rare books and manuscripts are a unique heritage that has great cultural significance. The only way to preserve it for future generations is to digitalize the contents. For this purpose, a restoration and conservation hall was opened in the National Center for Manuscripts, which is equipped with latest technologies. Today, this unique project has no analogs. Work on digital transformation of materials will be done in the center, where nearly 500,000 manuscripts are available in electronic form. Approximately 7,000 copies of rare books of the 10th to 19th centuries will be digitalized. This is a unique restoration center in Kazakhstan which is equipped with modern foreign technologies. Furthermore, rare books will be digitalized and the electronic copies will be available to audience. In 2019, a single electronic archive will be created in Kazakhstan. Today, more than 10% of the 360,000 documents stored in the National Archive have uploaded electronically. A unified archive program of digital transformation has been introduced. It contains all the information from the central archive and regions. This will certainly provide scientists and visitors with quick access to data. The Almaty Central State Archive of Film-Based Photographs and Sound Recording was one of the first to transform its materials into the digital form. 80% of sound recording has been digitalized. 100% of films and photos were also formatted electronically. Digital transformation of cinema is convenient because films become available to viewers. Now you can access all our movies digitally. Next year, all regional archives will be digitalized as well. This will allow the public to access valuable information. Heritage of Great Ancestors is a priceless wealth. As part of the modernization of Kazakhstan's identity program, aimed at promoting the national wealth, culture and art, numerous events are organized in the country. In the Pavlodar region, the Abai Auglia Kildi project has started. Daniel Asanov is one of those who seek to build interest in the work of Abai Kunanbaev. Recently, he put a solo performance in one of the villages in Kazakhstan. 
I gave similar performances in the Oms region and in Altai. Our compatriots appreciate and love Abai. Now my dream is to travel around all corners of Kazakhstan and carry all the art of the Akin. I also want to go to Astrakhan, Orenburg, the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region and Mongolia. I think our countrymen will be very happy to hear from the stage poems, including the words of edification of the great Abai. In Semei, the Alash Tanu Research Center presented five books. One of it is dedicated to the life and work of Magjan Jumabayev. The publication was issued in four languages, Kazakh, Russian, Turkish and English. The encyclopedia was dedicated to young readers, which included the best works of Alikhan Bokehanov, Ahmed Baytursinov, Shakarim Kudaybirdiev and Magjan Jumabayev. A two-volume book about the works of Kazakh academician Manash Kozibayev was also published. The key to the code of nation is knowledge. This is what representatives of the Alash movement believed in. They worked tirelessly for this. In the book, we tried to reveal the Alash concept. This encyclopedia is designed for children. This has not yet happened. Hopefully, in the future, we will be able to supplement and expand the publication. <laughs> Twelve-year-old Kazakh girl Danelia Tuleshova will be the third in line to perform at Junior Eurovision. This was announced during the allocation draw at the opening ceremony of the competition. The Children's Music Week of this year has started with a light-up slogan. Twenty countries will take part in the international competition. This is a record in the history of the music competition. For the first time, Kazakhstan takes part in this prestigious international contest. I'm happy and not feeling like we have to compete because we get to know other participants. It is very interesting. We talk to each other, we see their live performances, because before that we had only seen them via videos. So far we have a feeling of celebration, as it should be. The contest will begin on the 25th. One of the brightest elements of the opening ceremony was the mapping show. An incredible theatrical performance unfolded on stage with the help of computer graphics and 3D projection. The audience was introduced to national culture of the host country. A delegation from Kazakhstan headed by chairperson of Khabar Agency also arrived in Minsk to support Danelia Tuleshova. We are very happy. Of course, this is exciting. The excitement has certain advantages. It seems to me that when you worry, it is good. Now we are enjoying what is happening here in Minsk, Belarus. This is a great preparation. They are very warm, friendly and welcoming. The site is unique. I think that we will be surprised tomorrow in Minsk Arena. According to rules of the European Broadcasting Union, performers for the opening and closing of the competition have been identified. Ukraine will be the first to perform, while Poland will be the last. Tradition influences tragical and dance performances as well as religious rites, which is believed to bring good luck. Traditional Korean masses have been around for a thousand years and are displayed at the National Museum exhibition. Over 60 masses which belong to Joseon dynasty were showcased. The masses were made using different materials, clay, straw and wood, and were used in various tragical performances where they conveyed mood of actors, indicated their gender, age and occupation. Representations with masses are considered the property of Korea and are under the patronage of the state. It is an ancient art. Dances and performances with traditional masses are still very popular in every region, from small villages to large cities. They are always used in festivities and events. All the exhibition visitors took part in a special masterclass. With the help of paints and multicolored clay, they tried to recreate the ancient Korean masses.
to be hosted the Presidential Orchestra of the State Security Service of Kazakhstan concert. More than 1,000 city residents gathered to enjoy the performance of Metropolitan Artists. The famous team and winner of national and international competition tours not only in the country but also abroad. They introduced the world to the rich culture of Kazakhstan. At the musical evening, compositions which are loved by the audiences were staged and dedicated to Aktube. An interesting feature of our concerts is that teams of the presidential orchestra perform together in one consolidated orchestra, which houses four teams, a brass and chamber orchestra, a folk ensemble and a big band. As a result, we get the consonants of European sounds and pop by keeping our national tune. 